Well, well, hey, welcome back to Coffee and Tools this week. Uh, normally, I'm working on the Volkswagen. Today, I'm still working on the RV. The uh, television that was in the dashboard, I removed it. But uh, when I went onto YouTube to check, I couldn't find any decent instructional videos about how to get a TV out of these uh, RVs. And most of them are pretty much the same generically, I think. So it's a no-brainer, but at the same time, if you've never done one, it would be nice to see somebody else take a television out of one of these or just give you some ideas to what to look for. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, one of the first things you're going to be looking for in these is uh, these little buttons along these, this trim. There's a trim package here that goes around uh, the, the television. And it might be in chrome, it might be in wood, it could be in anything. And these little buttons, all these are, are a plastic cap. And you can generally get them off almost with your fingers, uh, using your fingernails. Or, you know, if you have a proper upholstery tool, you can pop these caps off and get the screws out. Once you get the screws out, even if you do that, you got to carefully uh, pull this, pull, uh, pull back a little bit here. You carefully get this trim uh, pulled out away from there. You can break it really easily. So it's something like unloading a bomb. You want to be really, really careful about pulling that trim back out of there before you uh, get to the television. Now let's go have a look at the television bracket and I'll show you what we were dealing with. We're back. Okay, this is the uh, base plate that was inside the dash up underneath the television and you had a, a, two screws into the television and one into a block of lumber and then you had some more trim trim screws and a, a cable holding the power cord for the television that's all that was holding that television in place there's the television right over here so we'll have a quick look at it there's the TV that was you know in the RV in the dash and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip around a little bit, I guess, so we can have a look and see where the screws were actually at on this television. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got the TV just kind of half propped up because let's face it, we really don't care about this television <laughs> at this point. This was a little uh, metal piece that was added to the base of the TV. And you can see that the factory, you know, made, made themselves this and screwed it into the plastic. And then that one screw went through the bottom here. Yeah, that was the whole thing that held the television into the dash. Well, that's not too bad, right there. Okay, I've got the TV on its base side now. And like I said, there's the bracket that was underneath the television. But that bracket, that is all that holds the television in that dashboard. And most of your manufacturers are going to be similar to that idea. So this is an Airstream land yacht, but you know, if you have a bounder, uh, I don't care what it is, most likely it's going to be something simple stupid once you get the trim out the whole deal is to get a flashlight and go down around the sides of the television looking for screws that can be removed phillips hopefully phillips had screws at that point that you can reach in there and remove those phillips screws because that's what you're looking for and then you're going to be you know wiggle waggle you know kind of thing to get the television off that uh, out of that dashboard i saved my trim and i tried to save all the screws and saved everything because once you get that out of there, you're going to have a project on your hands because now you got to decide, okay, now what do I do with all of this? Uh, you know, should I close it up and, you know, make something, uh, some shelving or in my case, we're doing USB uh, 12 volt, USB 110 volt, uh, a couple of cup holders. And I've even got another idea that I'm going to work on uh, this week. And that'll be to see if I can add a dash cam support to that plate bring it above the dash and have my dash cam up there. That'll be really solid and it'll allow me to hook up GoPros or dash cams or, you know, whatever I want. That will be so freaking cool. Anyways, uh, that's basically it for, you know, uh, getting an RV and uh, removing the television for the very first time from those dashboards. The other possibility with the television was to use it as a uh, backup camera but I already have a really good backup camera and most people probably already do, so I didn't see much point in covering that. But hey, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. This was a shorty over and out.